Hey everyone, been a long time between business done different videos. I'm here in Mexico and I'm actually facilitating a relationship done different class with Brendan Watt. So um, yeah, the topic that everyone likes to make so friggin' significant and it should be one of the most fun things in the world. But I'm not here to talk to you about relationship done different. I actually wanted to talk to you about uh, something I've been looking at recently with business and it's contribution. So when somebody asks you to contribute or you're looking at contributing to you know, a project or a business or a person, etc., what do you go to? How many of you go to what you can do, right? You go to this place of like, oh, I've got to solve something. I've got to find a solution. You know, what can I do? What can I fix? How many of you go to what can you fix? What if there was nothing to fix? And what if you weren't looking for a solution? Because if you're looking to fix something or you're looking for a solution, you've already decided there's a problem. So what if you had a capacity to contribute energetically that you haven't been willing to acknowledge? Because the majority of you do. Have you noticed when you put your attention on something, it changes? I mean, everything has, you know, this molecular structure and molecules are all shifting and changing continuously. So what if you could be that in business? What if you could be that with a project? What if you could be that with your cash flows? So one of the processes I've been running recently is what energy, space, consciousness and choice can I be and do that would allow me to contribute to, and I've been putting you know, it in there. So one of the things I've been doing is for El Ugar, which is a property in Costa Rica that we are developing. And we just signed off on the papers. We now own the land. And so we're gonna to start to build. And of course, I want it built like yesterday. <laughs> so I'm asking, what can I contribute? And immediately what I did the other day, I realized I went, oh, I've got to do some stuff like, you know, find a solution to how we can start building quicker and blah, blah, blah. Okay, do you notice there's like an intensity to that? And how many of you create this intensity with your business and your projects that don't allow the space of possibilities to show up? So here's what I've been running. What energy, space, consciousness, and choice can I be and do today that would allow me to contribute to El Ogar? And everything that doesn't allow that to show up, destroy and uncreate it, right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pot, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. So if you put your business in there, what energy, space, consciousness, and choice can you be and do today that would allow you to contribute to joy of business? Your, but you can put your business in there. And everything that, that is, times a godzillion, Right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pot, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. So even if you stop, you know, stop looking at the intensity of creating your business and start to relax, like even just now, it's like everywhere that you've gone to the intensity, whatever day of the week it is that you're like, oh my God, I've got to get this done. I've got to do this. I've got to call these people, blah, 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 blah. And you create this frenzy, intensity. Intensity is based on judgment. So how many of you are in constant judgment of what you can do and what you have decided you cannot do? So instead of doing the intensity, relax, allow yourself to breathe, have some space and run this process and see if something different shows up.